ready? Yo, what up? This is Bamboo, Kiwi, DJ Fatrick. We are the Native Guns, and you're watching Distortion of Static, Junk VFA, Aus GMA. So, so what what is the origin of the name? What does the name mean to you guys? Um, we have many different, you know, that, you know, hip hop. You know, try to get all metaphoric and stuff. But um, the simplest way to put it is, you know, we kind of, it's kind of a play off the whole native tongues uh, thing, and um, and uh, just uh, with us being, you know, representing our own cultural background, being Filipino, um, representing that native side, also uh, with the guns representing kind of just like. Uh, kind of metaphoric in terms of just how we flow and stuff, you know. Okay. okay. You know, it's uh, with the gun. It's like anything you point a gun at, and you dedicate to pulling that trigger, it's gonna penetrate, and it's gonna pretty much get at whatever you need it to get at. It's in its way. So, um, with our music, we're hoping that's what we do. You know, we take aim and and we have a focus and and we decide, okay, this is what we're gonna target, and we go at it full blast and uh, you know try to knock out your head with it. So, so when you guys record a song, do you aim for a certain demographic, or are you? I mean, like, who, who are you talking to specifically when, when you when you make a song, if anybody? Um, I think, and I think we kind of just speak from our own perspective. You know, our reality is that we're you know we're Filipino males that live in you know either you know live here in Cali. You know what I mean? So. Um, a lot of our experiences as that, you know what I mean, within the Filipino community. At the same time, uh, we represent, you know, we, I think our experience is, uh, you know, parallels that of just all, all folks of color, you know, who come from the inner city, who are, who are marginalized or exploited. Um, and I think that, you know, even though we speak from our perspective, I think what we're talking about is pretty universal, you know what I mean? So. Word, word. Um. So I know you guys definitely have your music is definitely politically charged and and um, you know you guys have a lot of substance and that was definitely the norm back in the you know the early '90s with Public Enemy and um, you know X Clan and all these other artists that that had samples and had a good message in their music and, and you guys are bringing that back but you don't really hear that in popular music anymore or popular hip hop uh, why, why do you think that is? This is, it's, I mean, there's a corporate, I can always go the corporate American push that, you know, corporations have come into our quote unquote culture, our hip hop, you know, what we what we hold true and, and what we, we define as hip hop. They've gone in and pretty much done what they can, everything they can possibly do to, to basically make the younger generation coming up underneath us, you know, believe hip hop is this totally different thing that us as not to call us pioneers, but us as kind of the old schoolers, that was not the vision that we had for it. So, I mean, but it is what it is. I, I don't, I'm not mad at it. I don't think, you know, I'm not one of those guys that says hip-hop is, you know, this horrible thing now. I mean, I love hip-hop. I think hip-hop hip -hop is at a beautiful place right now, you know. It's, um, I think when I was coming up, it was a clean line of this is whack, this is dope. Whereas now it's like, it's your own interpretation, you know what I mean? Like somebody could say, "Yo, this hyphy stuff is garbage," and then you know you talk to a kid from out here who's from here who gets it. It's beautiful, you know. Same with LA hip hop. Same with Southern rap. You know, I think right now hip hop has become this thing where it's just melting together. And right, right now we're fighting to like claim like little regions. But you know what? It's it's gotten to a point where if I play, you know, a Rick Rock beat and I play a Little John beat, you could tell. But it's like, you know what, man? It's it's party music. It's you know it's it's good time and you know it's just it's, so I, I love where hip hop is right now. Um, the conscious rap thing is as far as uh as far as where has it gone? I guess is the question. Or is like what what? I think there are actually a lot of people doing it. I mean I'm not even you know it's just a matter of getting in the public eye. You know I think Kiwi and I have been very fortunate. You know. Um, to, to, to speak and like I, like he said earlier I don't think we target a certain group you know we don't say yo we're gonna speak to y just young Filipino folks we speak from our perspective and whoever feels it feels it and you know and what we found in our experience is that people who feel it are you know young people of color you know people who grew up in the inner city like we did you know um, we're both from LA we come from from a gang culture you know we both gang banged as youth so you know, I think that's, you know, a lot of young gangbangers feel us, you know what I mean? Like, we do shows and, you know, we we have mixed emotions about that, you know, but we, we try to, you know, we're trying to get these young kids, you know what I'm saying, to really get on, on this page of, 
you know, to get down with us and get down where we're at, you know, and at least, you know, question question why we're in the situations that we're in and why we hate each other. You know what I'm saying? So, so I know you talked about, you know, corporate corporations and just big business, big business involved in hip hop now. Um, <clears throat> You know, and you see a lot of MCs from, you know, from the old school era, like, uh, you know, like Common, for example. And, you know, you see them on these on these major incorporated, you know, commercials or, uh, you know, you hear Q-Tip on a Budweiser commercial. You hear, uh, you know, you hear all these classic MCs that we all grew up listening to. And, um, you know, like, like how, how does that make you feel and, and what do you make of that? Um, you know, it's just hard to ma it's hard to make a call on it because I'm not common. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know common situation in order for him to do that. You know, he might have a family to feed and stuff, and you know that one opportunity that he's gonna have doing a Gap commercial may may have may give him a million other opportunities to like you know do something good for the community. You know what I mean? So it's hard for me to like you know judge him on that you know what i mean um i you know if we were in that situation we'd have to have a discussion about it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. we'd have to be like well you know is this you know how do you know how do we weigh this out you know what i mean so um on the surface yeah you know i'd be like man why is he doing that commercial but at the same time like you know all you know it's hard because like Com you know common is one of the few artists for example that puts out stuff that's you know that well, for me, at least in my, from my perspective, it's really intelligent. You know, he puts out really intelligent music. So, right, it's, right, right. so it's hard. You know, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to just see one Gap commercial all of a sudden and be like, <laughs> be like, oh man, forget Common. You know what I mean? You know, so, so you know, like, I mean, and you know, we all come with our, we all, we all have our contradictions. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, so. You know, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's a good topic of discussion. At the same time, not, for somebody like Common, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, forget that fool. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I really don't want to name people specifically, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, but that's, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel the same way about it. You know, what I mean, because it's you, you gotta have that balance, and and you know, the way I look at it is, you know, you have a best friend that, you know, you you agree with what they do, but you don't agree with everything they do. You know, so. I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it goes both ways, you know. So, I mean, I think it's funny that we're doing this now because it's, you know, it's, it's big money that they're putting in our pockets. And, I mean, I can easily take it back to the hood and say, well, shoot, they're offering us money. Take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're giving us big bucks and take it. At the same time, you're pushing alcoholic beverages to kids and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's you know, it's a, it's, it's a weird thing. So it's, like he said, it's hard for us to sit and judge. Lord knows as the Native Guns we've made, you know, we've made some mistakes but you know it's it's it is what it is and that's the thing is we will discuss it we'll talk about it you know an open dialogue about it you know what i mean uh, if we did something um that people felt you know if, if we did a commercial for something that people would not we would be totally open to people coming up and saying yo kiwi what's up why'd you do you know why'd you do that ad for so and so and we'll, we'll have a discussion about it and i think that's um one thing about I love being in this group is that that's our approach on everything you feel me like off top that's what we do you know like we 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 make music it's by the people for the people you know it's not my music it's not Kiwi's music necessarily you know what I'm saying is we, we put it out there for y'all you know like that's that's what we do so if you have a question about it if you have a if you have a problem with it you know holla you know we'll talk you know we'll talk about it yeah I, I think we are we're in a different position because we are, because of our relationship with our, you know, with our respective communities, we are, you know, our community is going to hold us accountable, yeah. you know, and they're going to, you know, we got folks in the community that will, you know, call us, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, if they say, you know, they're like, yo, what's going on, you know, they'll, you know, I mean, it's happened before, you know, letters or, you know, phone calls or yeah. emails, you know what I mean, so I think that, um, you know, it's a judgment call on us. You know, we have to have we have to be real critical about the stuff that we're doing. You know, and we also have you know we also have to be able to answer to our community. Like, okay, well, you know, so why'd you do this commercial, for example? You know what I mean? So, well, you know, like this is why. You know what I mean? So, so I know um, <clears throat> there's a huge, um, you know, and I, I really like what you guys do for you know Filipino culture, and um, I mean, I'm not Filipino, but I really appreciate what you guys do. Um, but uh, and, and Filipinos have a huge, you know, a huge influence on hip hop now, you know. And so where do you see that, you know, maybe 10 or 20 years from now, like Filipinos involvement with hip hop? Um, I would it's this it's it's uh, hip hop is hip, 
the thing with hip hop is it is, and the thing that's real beautiful I think about hip hop is that it's so accessible. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, and even just the way it came up, it was like. Uh, communities didn't really have a lot of resources, so all of us, you know, hip hop came out of that. You know what I mean? So um, it's just a matter of time for for different communities to to embrace it. You know what I mean? Or to embrace that as part of their experience. You know, as young folks living here, you know, um, in the world. You know what I mean? So um, so it's hard for me to say, but I know I could speak just you know just from what I see in the Filipino community. Hip hop is a huge part of uh, the Filipino American experience for this generation, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it definitely, I mean, y'all know about the DJs, you know what I mean? Um, you know, the MCs and, um, you know, so like, I feel like, I feel like it's definitely gonna grow into something that's uh, really profound. But I think also there's the hip hop, but then I think also just the community awareness, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what, at least for me, well, that's what makes it, it kind of unique, you know what I mean? Because, like, there's a lot of Filipino cats out there that are doing hip-hop that, that really got some really good things to say, you know what I mean? So, so, so let's talk about the album now. Um, promote the album and um, just say, like, where people could get it, how people can contact you, and just what what people could expect when they listen to the album. Man. Um, the album is called Barrel Man. It's the Native Guns album. It, uh, took, it took a minute to make because I live in L.A., um, Kiwi lives here in the 415. Fatty lives in Oakland. You know, so uh, it was it was a it was a process to make. It was um, yeah, it was a serious process to make complete this album. So we're real happy with it. You know what I mean? We're happy that we just accomplished this. You know, um, and so it's out now. What I would say to expect from it is just it's good music. It really is. It's good music. Um, we take the time to really sit and pick and and, and think things through. So. Um, but yeah, so go get the album. You can get the album on nativeguns.com. You can get it at uh, myspace.com myspace slash nativeguns, guns with a S, as such there with a S, native guns. Um, we also got clothes, all that stuff, um, which you can go get at the site. But yeah, go cop the album. You know, really, like the album, I, we feel is really, really good. We've got great responses from it. You know, CD Baby, the ratings were crazy. Every review we've had has been like, you know, it's, it's, it, we're, we're humbled by it. It's really, really good. And the community has embraced us with this album, you know. And, and we were solo artists before this album came out. And, uh, you know, the solo records were, you know, were great response for that, too. So it was a nerve-wracking thing for us to put this out. People were expecting a lot from this album. So I think we met that expectation, and I'm real happy with the album. So go out and get it. You know, it's a, I, 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 I can say that I don't think you guys will be, be displeased with the album at all. You know, I think you guys will love it. There you have it, y'all. That's how we do it on Distortion of Static. For more information on Native Guns and other artists, go to distortionofstatic.com. All right, y'all. Peace.